completely forgot tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Damn it. I gotta go. I'll see you in PE for square dancing. Mama will make it better. Ah! Where did you come from? A good mama's always just a few meters behind her babies. I don't think that's right. And why meters? Now let's just get you home into a warm bubble bath, then we'll snuggle under an afghan for two, and then I'll fill your tummy with sleepy time tea, which I will blow on. You paint an inviting picture, but no. Oh my gosh, I love it. Welcome back. She's hands down one of the funniest actors in the biz, and she's here celebrating nine seasons of The Goldbergs. Mm. Please welcome Wendy Yeah, yeah. Hey, baby. Hello. Hello. So I hear you were <laughs> listening to our last block. What do you think of Valentine's Day? Okay, tell us, tell us. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. What? It is the worst. Why? St. Valentine's was the patron, patron saint of crappy merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. That's My husband and I have, have not celebrated it in 22 years. And oh. I think it's the key to a successful marriage is you, not celebrating it. <laughs> you just went from one of the best actors to, to the, the best. <laughs> Jeff are two peas in a pod. Okay, now you see, no, you have said that you were too crazy for network television. I want to hear why yeah. you said that. Well, you know, I just I got my my first big gig was Reno 911, and that was a very weird little show. And when I would go to auditions, I would just come away feeling like I don't know, I don't know if I'm ever gonna mm -hmm. get on a network show. I might just be a a cable person for the rest of my life. <laughs> So when the Goldbergs came along and the character was so bananas, I was like, ah, this might be the one. And here we are nine years later Yay! and it right. be working out. Congratulations. <laughs> well, Wendy, my best friend, one of your, you just mentioned Reno 911. It's getting revived. What's the most exciting yes. part? Eight years of the Goldbergs, now you're returning to Reno 911. What's that like? Yeah, yeah. That was a trip because there was like, what, an 11 year gap or something between. We all thought it was done, but then Quibi came out. I, I don't know if you remember we do. what Quibi was. <laughs> um, you know, we got together, we did some episodes for that. Quibi went away while we were still filming. So we finished the season and that season that we finished, which was like Halloween of 2020, we were all sequestered in a hotel filming this show. Um, that comes out on February 25th on wow. the Roku channel. Wow, that's so, incredible. And I don't know if you've seen the, the movie that's on Paramount Plus. We did another movie too called The Hunt for QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's hysterical. <laughs> it's hysterical, and it's on Paramount Plus, and I think you need it. Oh, it seems like it really it's like does. right up my alley on yes. Friday night. Yes. The hunt for QAnon. <laughs> oh God, Reno yes. number one. I put on and just watch and just cry. All I right. know. Let's talk about the Goldbergs. Yeah. I did audition. I didn't get you the part. You did? Yeah. <gasps> to be a mini you when your son was dating someone, I was going to be a mini you, She's and just, I got my hair done. No, you're just putting that oh out there. God. I didn't get it. I'll have a picture. I think I'll she show pulled you. the trigger to make sure you didn't get. it. I think so too, Wendy. It's not. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear this. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. George Segal, though, <laughs> passed away. He was an amazing, amazing man last year, and this is the first season without him. What was the yeah. set like without him? Did it just feel like the energy was different? You know, it was, it, it continues to be a loss that we feel, and I, it was like a year ago, maybe this week, that was the last time oh. I saw him, wow. you know? And we still continue to deal with him in storylines. We just filmed something where we have to go and pack up his his condo in Miami and we find out about some lover of his that we didn't know about. <laughs> and, you know, it's, we'll never stop talking about him. Yeah. But do we miss him every day? Yeah. And filming our first show back um, where we dealt with with him dying, it was all we could do to just get through it without sobbing yeah. and I my personally my face was like the size of a pumpkin because I just couldn't stop crying yeah. and I was like oh he's a good man you know yeah. what a what a, a 
honor that we even got to work with them. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, we that's what you, that's how you want people to talk that's about you after you right. pass. Yes. So like, uh, that, yeah. that is truly an yeah. awesome tribute. We had to get to this really quickly because, I mean, let's be real. You have played the Goldberg's matriarch for almost a decade. Oh, so talk to us out. about I what your journey has been like as Beverly Goldberg. I mean, it's been the most fun I've ever had to play someone this insane. And remember, she is a real person. Yes. Who is out in the world and sometimes weighs in. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I absolutely love her. I love the whole family. It's, you know, I, I have no kids in real life. So I watching these actors grow up as my children, it just, it just reiterates over and over. I'm too weak to be a mother. That's why I never did it. Amen. I, I, agree. I don't know how people do it. Um, it takes, you know, reserves of strength that I do not have. <laughs> but it has been such an honor and such a blessing to do it. We have the best time. I know that sounds cliche, but I really do enjoy going to work. And I'm glad that I get to spend so much time with these people. Well, it shows. Yeah. We, You are such Good. a gift. So is the show. Wendy, thank you so much. <laughs> Don't forget to watch the Goldbergs on ABC. We'll be right back. Thank Bye, you. Wendy. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Wednesday on DBO, the daughter of a KKK Grand Dragon joins us live. Plus, Jillian Michaels from The Biggest Loser will also be here live. That's Wednesday on DBO.